Hello, everyone, and welcome to Caps Creations Live on Sunday. Where tonight I thought we would just make a companion uh, to this simple floral arrangement, which you can use on your table. Yeah, um, I'm actually making these for my side tables in my family room. So um, they're not going to be exactly the same. They're going to be um, a little bit different. But we're making them out of these five inch round by five inch high metal buckets um, that I had gotten from Shinoda probably two years ago, almost two years ago. No, for sure two years ago because I got them at the beginning of 2020 um, before the pandemic hit. So, um, and this one is Let Freedom Ring and this one is actually America the Beautiful, both with red trucks. Um, so I'm going to show you how easy it is to put one together so that you can make one for uh, craft fair tables. These are super simple, um, small but beautiful takeaways um, that can be set up on your display table and you can sell these. Or you can just make them for your home like I am tonight. So what you will need is a container to build your floral arrangement in. If I had thought this out well enough, I would have filled this with gaps and cracks, but I didn't. It was kind of like last minute type of thing, trying to figure out what I wanted to make, which was a little bit different than Reese. So then um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a five inch foam, the hard styrofoam, uh, craft foam ball. So these are gonna go and it's gonna drop right in the center. So that's the first thing I am going to do while I'm waiting for my glue to heat up. And if you want it to be permanent, you could put your hot glue in the bottom and then make this a permanent um, fixture. Or if you want to be able to pop these out and change the floral display, you have that option as well. Um, I'm just going to dip the bottom of this in my glue skillet. I'm going to go ahead and press this in. It's going to sit a little bit below. Let's try this. So it's going to sit that low, um, which is perfect for where we have to go ahead and add all of our florals. Also today, I'm gonna to demo the pick machine, the steel pick machine, which it's an expensive option to have, but it's also really nice because some of the greenery that I'm using to green up my base um, has no wire in it whatsoever. So I need it to have something to be able to um, poke into our styrofoam ball so that it can um, have something to poke into. So not necessary if you're using a fairly thick wired uh, floral for here, but those are options you have. Michael's for the win for the five inch uh, styrofoam ball. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this in my glue skillet. Okay, stir this up. I'm trying to find a thicker skewer, there we go. So my edges are melted, but my middle is not. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this stuck on my sharp ball. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this. And all this is doing is sticking this to the bottom of my small little um, steel bucket. You can, um, Gaps and Cracks is perfect because it's a little bit more on the cost effective side. It's about $2.74, $2.47 for a can of Gaps and Cracks. Uh, downside is um, you need to let it set up for 24 hours. <clears throat> and then it can fill whatever um, container you wanna use it in, which is what this was uh, filled with, was Gaps and Cracks right to the top. Um, keep in mind, if you use gaps and cracks, you only want to fill it 50% full, and then it's going to expand the other 50%. If you use it in a container that has like open, like if you do it in a basket or a wooden crate and has openings, the gaps and cracks is going to fill outside of those spaces. So make sure if you're using gaps and cracks, it's in a solid container because it's going to expand and fill um, that area. So... Let me, Make sure using gaps wow, 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 let's get this turned way, way down. So hi, Valerie, hi, Tracy and Lenore and Susan and Kathy. 
um, Blanche and Rita and Anna. For those of you that ordered the wreath kits, those are shipping out tomorrow, so you should have them by, I'm trying to think, today is the first, um, the fourth or the fifth, depending upon where you live. So um, keep an eye out for that. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna green up our base, which is the same thing of what I done here. You're just gonna give some filler to the outside and then we're gonna go ahead and start adding our florals. However, with the greenery that I'm using, um, this is like a hanging boxwood. And this is what I was saying, is sometimes you've gotta look at alternatives rather than buy stems. Um, this is a little bit better value for the money because um, you can make quite a few picks from this. The downside is there's no wire. It's all just flexible, it has no life to it. But it's perfect for cascading over my little bucket here. So knowing that in advance, um, what we're going to do is we're gonna find an area like right in here where we're gonna go ahead and snip this. Might go a little, no, right about here. Um, that would help if I actually had my tools out for our life. Give me just a second. So we are going to snip this off right about here. And see this wouldn't do very well. It may stick in, but I want it to be able to have some flexibility to it. So cutting that off, this is right about six inches. This is where I'm gonna use my steel pick. So this is a steel pick machine, which is sometimes you can get these really expensive. Look for them on eBay, Amazon. Sometimes you can have them where people are discounting them out. You wanna make sure though, because it is a heavy duty cast iron um, wreath making tool that um, it works. So what I mean by works is what you want it to be able to do is there are still picks that are lined up in here all the way down. Each one of these is an individual pick. You have a weight that will keep your steel picks down so that when you're ready to load, it will push it down so that it will sh um, shoot out. So here is the steel pick before it kind of like, it's like this and then it's gonna grasp around, and then you're gonna have a metal pick on the end, which is razor sharp, so be super careful. So as you can see, I'm just gonna stick it right here, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna close around. Let's go ahead and pull this one out, and I have a steel pick on the end. So now this is gonna go inside that hard styrofoam ball much easier than if I was trying to put a lifeless, wireless, just plastic only uh, type of um, greenery into my floral arrangement. So I'm just gonna add a touch of glue here. And then what I'm gonna start doing is what's called greening the base. So I want this to where it kind of cascades and hangs over the side. So I already have one that I did on my steel pick already. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this here. See how that just kind of cascades over. It's a nice little effect. And all I'm doing is picking these up and finding, you can actually probably cut these with scissors. I'm going to load my next steel pick, which is right here. I'm gonna lay that right in the center gonna grab this forward and just like that still pick so we're gonna go ahead and add these just like that put my glue back in the container pick this up and look for a little longer piece loading my still pick in Press. We've got it all in. It is like that. And all I'm doing is going all the way around. Got to load it. Just dropping this in.
So I'm doing it about every two inches so that I have some greenery. That way I don't have to worry necessarily about covering up the base of my um, styrofoam bowl because it's not green. Sometimes it gets a little temperamental. So I'm gonna make sure my weight. <clears throat> I just gotta give it some extra love. Temperamental. It was doing so good for so long. And then it stopped wanting to put my picks in. There it goes. Sometimes it just gets temperamental because it's feeding all of those in. Like all technology, right? It's all temperamental. Did Monique come to get her stuff? No. Oh, okay. And there we go. There we go. We've got two more. We've got one more that's going to go right in the center, right in here. to make sure I don't drag any of this over. I don't want it to hang too low. There we go. Last one. So basically you use a steel pick wherever you want to attach something um, that doesn't have enough strength to penetrate on its own. A lot of people use them for grapevines because you can add that steel pick and bring that right in to uh, the, the grapevine, especially if you have something that, like I said with this, has no wire. This would be really hard to kind of push into the grapevine. So putting a steel pick on it makes it really nice. So this one's gonna be a little bit different. This one here is roses, lilies, and forget-me-nots. The one that we're working on today is gonna to have poppies, um, and we're gonna take these down. They're a little too long. So these are what's called true touch, which means that if you feel them, they feel like real florals. And these ones are actually strong enough that I'm hoping we don't have to use a steel pick on. That's going to be about my tallest point to my arrangement. So these are my big focals. And these ones have wire in them. Actually, I got a bigger stem on them. Let's take that down just a little bit. So I want three kind of at the top. And then I have some going a little bit lower. Just like this. Take this one down. Kind of one here, one out the back. Are you reading comments, babe? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> essentially, Susan G. Wow, that's quite the jazz. You can see how that would be valuable as a growing and everything. Yes. So, if you're ever struggling, like sometimes, see, like you saw how hard it was for me to push some of this um, floral in to that harder foam base. Watch what happens if I take this and I use the pick machine on it. So, pick machine over, load the pick, which is right here. You're just gonna lay this inside. 
go right around. Here's my pick. Because it puts a steel razor sharp edge on there. And just like that. See, so much easier, right? Didn't have to like fight to get it to go in. Um, we're also gonna come in with some cornflowers. I'm trying to keep the florals as authentic to color as possible. So like with the cornflowers, um, those are natural blue. I didn't wanna do stuff like blue roses, which don't really exist unless you color them. So now I'm gonna come in with my cornflowers. Did you know, there's a little bit of fun fact for history, that cornflowers were worn by um, men in the earlier, like closer to like the 1900s, early 1900s. These were called boutonniere buttons because um, they would wear them as a boutonniere. But if a gentleman wore one, it was considered that he was eligible. Like um, women would know that he was an eligible bachelor. Same thing if women wore them, they were basically giving guys a sign that they were eligible for marriage. They were not taken. Fun fact. Yeah, yes. Where did you find the bucket? The bucket I got at Shinoda about two years ago. I'm gonna put this one on a pick so it's a little yeah, bit longer. Where did you get the cornflowers? Cornflowers Hobby Lobby. Um, they are out of stock currently with them, so you may have to visit a couple Hobby Lobby stores and see if you can find them available. See, I wanted that one up a little bit higher than the stem would allow. I'm sure everyone said, wow, that's a great gadget to have. Right? So now you guys know what it does. See, like right now, if you can see, it's kind of open in the gears. Can you zoom in on that, babe? while I cut my cornflowers down. So I'm gonna use all of those. So right here, there's no pick. It's open. It's got these little hands that go like this whenever I put the pick in. So when I go like this and pull the pick forward, it, it loads my pick, right? So then I just take my stem and then I'm gonna push it and what it does is it grips, it closes that metal around the pick. So it now just gave me an extra inch and a half. And they pool. are sharp. They're very sharp. And we've got a couple more. So load, steel pick. Look at it, please. Got one there. I think I'm going to go down here with this one. And I might bring this one. I guess we can bring it forward. I'm trying to keep them open and airy. So um, let's see what we can do with this one. Last one. Just like that. Make sure we get all our glue out of the way. I'll just push this one to the side. Okay, open, airy, right? Now I'm going to come in and add this is a navy blue larkspur. So I'm going to add these just for some more blue. And let's see. I'm gonna probably, huh? That's got a lot of height to it. It does have a lot of height. So I need to cut them down a little shorter. So like these, a lot of height, but it's got, you know, you kind of don't want everything the same. So these are gonna go on either side of my red poppy in the center. Richard's uh, silly fact from the old days, too, was you congratulate men and give best wishes to women when they got engaged. 
Really? I did not know that. We just said, love my fix machine, got it new with two boxes of fix for 75 bucks. See, that is awesome. I you bought it and never used it. Um, this is the first time I've used mine, honestly, in years. Um, ever. Ever. Well, we used it once before, just to. <laughs> nope, never. To play with it. And then I was like, too complicated. Don't want to use it. Um, we're going to add in white rhinoculus for our touch of white. And I'm going to break these down into smaller picks rather than use them on the larger stems. Again, Hobby Lobby. So this is how we're adding our punch of white to the mix. It's like I want these just lower than where they're at. Like I would like them if they were just a touch shorter. So let's see if we can pull these out. Yes. Which means I might have to lose one of the bottoms. But I'm okay with that. Because I would rather, rather them be a little lower into my arrangement. See the difference between here and here? So I'm taking off my leaf. Better. Much, much, much better. I know. I was telling Steve, I'm like, we could go light or we can go super dark. So I wanted to go a little bit on the darker side. We're saving the, um, the leaves because we will utilize the leaves. Then this is I got my pick machine on eBay used. Really? Yeah, her husband cleaned it up and it works great. She's used it a lot. That is so awesome. It, for me, it's just trying to figure out how to use it, you know? Okay, we're going to go in right about here. Sometimes I'm trying to get it. No, don't go to the dark side. Yeah, you laugh and say Dark That's not a big Star Wars fan. I am, but she's not. Steve is, yeah. Steve would, yeah. Well, I know the reference. Yeah. Right? Okay. Let's try. It's not she doesn't like, she likes Star Wars. She's not like a huge fan of it. Like you are? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Um, we need to add some green leaves. So sadly, the leaves on this pick are all at the bottom, but they were never attached to the florals. Oop. Come on. There we go. Hey. Steve. Let us, I'm going to keep these over here. Um, sometimes you just have odds and end greenery too. Like this. I'm going to go ahead and fill. Um, what else are we doing? Rinoculus, we did. Um, let's see. 
What do I want to use in here? I think I want to use, do I want to add any more poppies or not? Well, let's add some of this. I actually went to Michael's today um, for florals because of course Hobby Lobby is closed on Sunday, right when you need them. So, um, sadly, Michael's has all their patriotic in, but it's not on sale. And this stuff is weird because it shouldn't be attached in one big blob like this. They should all be separated. Let's see if we can try to separate them. There we go. There's like a... A piece in the middle holding them. So let's add that in there. Are those strong enough to read on over? Yes, these are way strong. Yep. So light and airy. Light and airy, light and airy. Let's make sure. Moving everything up. Thank you, Anna, for sending the stars. I think we're going to add that one I right sent two here. Stars earlier. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate that. You're awesome. Remember, all of our stuff's on stems so we can move them to give them some more life. And so we can separate this one from the bench. I don't know why they're all stuck. They shouldn't be. And that's how you're feeling. Oh, you still have your short throat. Yeah, but it's not as bad. Yeah. Just trying to separate all these stems. It's like, I don't know if they intended to leave them like this, but just kind of weird trying to separate just the one from this big bundle maybe they intended it that way but I don't want to use them that way there's a white one we're getting there <clears throat> there we go sadly Come in right about there with that one. There we go. We have some white, but I'm not going to use those just yet. I think I'm going to come in with Queen Anne's lace. We'll see what these little pops of white will do. The leaves are just so giant. Let me look. I'm just temporarily placing them in here. I think I want them a little bit lower. So that's a little big on the stem. Like that. So that works. Just like so. Move that, move that. Again, always picking up the ones with the price tag. I'm gonna do this one down in here. What? Is it always? Huh? Always, right? Yes. Pull our florals down. There we go. So I'm just like looking, I'm like, okay, we can probably put some white in here. Alrighty. So. I'm 
can even bring this one forward. And bend these where we want them to stay. Push up. Sometimes I have to go a little lower. We're going to get something right in here because we have all this blue, no white. So we're going to pop some white down in here. Go down. Trying to hang on to my Queen Anne's lace so it doesn't doesn't come up short. Making sure I pull all my glue out. Yeah, they send them out. I know they send them out at least once a month. And then um, sometimes they'll do extras if they're like discounting out uh, a holiday season, like maybe Easter. You know, no one wants to be stuck with Easter. So right here, yet it, you know, yet again. Yes, Shanetta is the best place for pipe cleaners. Okay. I'm going to look at incorporating some baby's breath because we can make it as thick or as thin as we want just by pushing these up. These are what's called push-up drainery. So, like, for example, right in here, um, let's cut this down just a smidge. Mm, let's pull that out. Take it down just a little bit more. Where did you get your Queen Anne's lace? Uh, Hobby, Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Yeah. yeah, it's always from Hobby Lobby. And this is our baby's breath. Spinning. So I just pulled out like random greenery, random um, stuff that I thought I might want to use in the arrangement. Stuff, you know, not so much focal flowers, but more along the lines of like things that are soft filler flowers, mm -hmm. like these, just filling the gaps. If you don't want quite such a heavy, you know, like I think we need something in here, but I'm going to push these all the way up. Did you show me two little tea boxes you got? In your... Oh, I'll show them in a sec. Yeah, let me finish this. Okay. Make sure. Trying to keep all the glue threads in the pot. So we've added some here. We will add some in here for texture. Different heights, different colors. Remember, we're looking for three different color greens if we can. Not that high. Sometimes they just don't want to go up. It just depends on the stem. So we're going to put this one in here. 
for me, I might put it in here. I think I'm going to go in. I'm trying to hold my bucket and push these in. Let's get that up. I'm just kind of going around and looking at it from all different sides and saying, you know, kind of, do I, do I need more red? Do I need more blue? Do I need something? Definitely feeling something in here. And then um, keep in mind too, we're gonna use some of the Rhinoculus greenery because when we added our Rhinoculus, it didn't have leaves on it. Just like so. Probably something right here. And then we will work on the outside. So, because this is in pretty far, we want to push the majority of this up to the top where we can see it. Should we read all sides? How's your throat feeling? Much better. Much, much, much better. So, let's see. Take just a little bit off. Kind of feeling as well. Yeah, we've been doing an awful lot of stuff lately um, for family. Right, we just found out our son-in-law is moving to uh, Tacoma. Um, we didn't. We've kind of been praying for that, but we didn't think it would happen as soon as it did. So God's been faithful, and He's just been moving things in the right place to make that happen. Um, trying to think. Thinking. Let's look at, huh? Well, let's add a couple things now. Let's add some uh, green. Like we have our little green leaves. There we go. So we're just gonna steel pick these. So we have leaves that we can add to the bottom down here to fill. I think that one's full, that's full. I think I'm gonna add a couple right over here. Sometimes the weight slides off. There it goes. There we go. See how we're just adding the different leaves around? There's another pick. And then um, also, I don't know if you guys knew this, probably. So let me make sure I've got one more right here. You can Richard. also, go ahead, Dave. Richard said, are the replacement picks expensive? No. We bought the thing, it came with. Um, I'll show you, because I have it. 300. Look, so you can get 2,000 picks, Hobby Lobby 12.99. So no, not that expensive. Yeah. So I don't know if ever go through. Well, I will probably start like when I'm doing my florals, I will probably always use the pick machine now because it just gives you so much freedom. I don't have to fight with the greenery before. Yeah. You know? Like wherever I want something to sit. Let's see if we can get you. There you go. Maybe just a little bit different. 
move our corn flour down. Okay, so um, one of the things you can do with your still pick, I didn't know if you guys knew this. Let's say we're doing, where did we put my ribbon? Right Just here. So, yeah, not bad, but do they all take the same thick? Yeah, they, yes. they, they all take the same thick, I believe. Yeah. Um, this is a two and one eighths, so that's what stacks in here. So like if you open these. I do think there are different no. So look, if I open, let's see, here we go. This is what they are. So this is, I know, this is in a sense exactly what you're working with. And there's a ton of them stacked up. So there's our grabber and here's our still pick. So you get a ton in here. So, you know, I don't think I've used maybe... 10 or 15 in this arrangement. So, um, the nice thing, like I was telling Steve, is if we wanted to add some floral streamers in here, like, oh, I don't know, something like, if we wanted to just add a super cute bow with a long streamer on it. You could totally take the end of your uh, ribbon and you can take the end of your ribbon, load your pick in there, place your ribbon right where your pick is. Um, I'm gonna try to do this because I have a pretty thick, it's painted ribbon, so I'm gonna try to just twist. Um, it's gonna go around my ribbon. It adds a pick on here, so if I wanted to add a super cute little streamer, let's just dovetail the end like so. And I just wanted this to kind of pop inside my arrangement and just have super cute little um, streamers. Yeah, just like little filler streamers. Like I don't I want to introduce some ribbon color in here, but I maybe not necessarily want a bow in there. I can do the same thing with the red. This one's a little thinner since it's not painted. I'll dovetail my end. Yeah, these are actually a nice little touch. And you can do these even on your grapevine if you just want to add like little streamers that just doesn't, you know, doesn't really have um, here's our pick. I don't have these glued in yet because I'm not sure I'm going to want them to stay. But let's say we want this one kind of in. Let me go around my Queen Anne's lace. Let me just add a little pop. Trying to get it to go around my floral, just like that. So I can add little touches of red, white, and blue ribbon. We could technically do large loop, pinch that in, do the same thing. I don't know how we would do the large loop. I think I'm just going to streamer it. I might have done this one a little too long. Let's get you. I'm trying to get it to grasp around my ribbon. I'm actually going to commit to this one. Trying to find my bucket. Oh yeah, uh, Susan, that's kind of a good idea. She's, she said, "What you could you, could you make like a longer piece and pinch it in the middle and make a tail, make like two tails." What do you mean? Like, uh, like, like pinch it here, do the pick here, and then you have two tails coming out. You could, I guess. It would just depend on how thick it gets because this ribbon with the, um, the paint on it 
is a really thick ribbon. Mm -hmm. So I just don't know if it would yield and would hold two ribbons in there at the same time. So let's put a red one in, like right in here. Like we'll try to do it with the red and see if we can do it that way. Always just so because I'm like, that would look so cute right there. Let me think about that, how we would do that. If I wanted this here on a steel pick. Oh, I'm thinking. Well, she just meant, I think, turn it into two tails. I know. Okay. I know. But I'm trying to think of. How to do it in like a half tail? Yeah, like this. We could. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. Let. I don't have my cart out. I think she's gonna go get a pipe cleaner. Yeah, because a pipe cleaner doesn't it doesn't have enough here. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking pipe cleaner would work. Because some of my pipe cleaners are super thick that I would have no problem getting it through. But let's see if we wanted to do one like this. Steel pick it. Let's see if we could still pick it like that. Steel pick. On our, yeah. and let's see, because I would want this one. You have to be super careful because they're super sharp. Yeah. Just trying to make sure I can find my ball like that. Look how cute that is. I like that a little bit better yeah, than the um than the blue. So, um, that one I can pull out. You're actually so much fun watching your views come to life. Right? Except when I'm like, oh, I have a change of heart. I don't want to put that one in there. Really? Yeah, that's kind of what you just did. She used the pipe cleaner. Yeah, I did pipe cleaner on top and then just pushed it where I want. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'll dovetail my end. Just like so. And I'm looking about like how far do I want it to hang. Here's my loop. You know, you don't even have to be exact on your measurements. Um, I need to grab a blue. Can you grab me a blue one, Steve? Yeah. I grabbed a red. Let me go ahead and dovetail this one. I kind of like that instead of worrying about where to tie them on on the bucket and then I think they complement. You could even cut it in half. The pipe cleaner in half. Oh yeah definitely cut it in half so you're not wasting them because you only need a little a little end and this one's super weak so this would need a steel pick on it. So let's Twist these all the way down to kind of thicken that up. Let's see if we can get the steel pick. There we go. Steel pick right on there. And then we'll take this one. This one will kind of go right in here. Watch me because there's another one in there. No, I took those out. I took them all out. No, I mean, there's still other steel picks inside there. Um, they're all the way in the styrofoam. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, I pushed those in a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't leave them long enough to be a threat. So see how we just added that little pop? I'm going to pop this one out. And then we'll add our red. And then we'll add another blue. So we'll put the red... Let's see. I want to put, I'm feeling like it needs blue here. 
So we just added blue here. But I like the blue there. Because I guess that would just depend on which way you're going to tilt your cup, right? Mm -hmm. Let's add. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. And I'm not measuring these. I'm just kind of eyeballing them. Sometimes I want them in, kind of peeking out. So. You took each other about six inches. Oh. Almost seven. Almost seven. There we go. Where is my blue pipe cleaner? I'm going to put those away so I don't stab myself with them. I just had... Oh, well. Yeah. So back through here. And it looks weird from, because you guys are seeing it more down. I'll show you when I turn it so you can actually see, because I'm looking at it down in here. Because I'm all, that kind of looks weird in here. There's our pick. Okay. Let's... Give that one. It's the fact that the painted stripe goes right at the center. Just like that. See, like so. That just looks pretty with the um the red poppies right here. Mm. And then right in here, I felt like we needed red. It was kind of weird. It's like two red and then two blue back to back, but it is the way it is. So I guess you can pick whether you want blue or red. Or, I don't want to get like way too creative. I'm like thinking we could kind of do like red, but with blue tails. Mm. It's just going on our end tables. Yeah. So it just, to add some decor to inside the home, you could put these out on your, um, if you were doing a barbecue, put them on the little side tables. Since they're not fresh flowers, you don't have to deal with the bees, yellow jackets, hornets. Okay, last one. Oop. We're gonna pick this one. You could, if you want. Whatever you want. You most definitely could do that. But see, I'm kind of taking my red and popping it where I have blue flowers and taking the blue and popping it where I have mostly red. So, and then I have a short one and a long one. So they kind of mix and match. And then, let me see if there's anything else we need to add. Yeah, I will. I think I want something in here. But what? Do we want another white? Or do we want something blue? Because we could add blue in here. Let's look. Gotta push everything up. There we go. Open everything up. Move that off to the side.
There we go. All these things you can bend and give them some life. Mix in some of our baby's breath with Queen Anne's lace. Oh, I haven't figured. Do I want you high? Do I want you a little bit low? Okay, so you know your brother's gonna want this. Uh, he probably will. If he was doing a photo shoot, he'd be like, um, I need some greenery for our photo yeah. shoot. Can you, can I borrow some of that? He borrows it and then sadly, I never get it back, but that's okay. If he's happy and he loves it, so be it. But, um, let me trim this one up. It's a little too long for me. I'm trying not to have my ribbons hang to the bottom. So they float in here, float, float, float. Okay, so let me show you. So here it is, twisted to the side, the way I see it. So I'll spin it. They can't see the side. Huh? They can't see the side. The bucket. We're here. Yeah, I just made it to the side so they can see the bucket looks like. I know, I already showed yeah. them the bucket. Oh. So I'm just picking them up and showing yeah, the yeah. area around here. Yeah. You're going to have to tell me like where yeah, it kind of falls into place. So. And I said, yeah, you can make two. And if she takes one, you still have one. Right, that's why I have that. So these are two totally different things. Um, what you choose to do with them is entirely up to you. You know, if you want to add bows like um, the first one I did, this one, um, I added little bows to the side where the handles are. They're just double bow added in. Um, but two very different um, floral arrangements. Oh, that was the other thing I forgot. Let me find it. It is right. Here. We had one more thing missing. So, because I added it in here, see I have this, my little pinwheel, for when it goes outside. Um, I just need to make sure where I need to cut it down to. Right about there, I think. And there we go. I pull that one. So we have pinwheels. These are from Michael's. So I thought they would make cute little side table things out when we have our barbecue. And then, like I said, because they're not fresh florals, I don't have to worry about dealing with bees or mm -hmm. yellow jackets or hornets or anything along that line. So there you guys go. You show the thing you got what? Oh, you not yet. So Steve wanted me to show you, Michaels has these as well. We like collecting metal tins. So there's Liberty Bell tea and Red Stripes coffee. So it just gets added to our um, countertop for home decor. So now it'll accompany uh, one of our floral displays for there. So do you guys have any questions at all? For those of you that don't know it, I am selling wreath kits, so I do have wreath kits available. If you go to my website at couchcreationsandmore.com, click on new product collections, you will see the um, wreath kits that I have left. Um, I will be adding more, but probably not till mm, the end of the week, and I'm still not even sure about that because we have a lot on the plate for this week to get done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys like um, the, the options that we gave you today to incorporate and make your own floral display. I'll push this one back because this is what we worked on. Any questions? 
All right, everyone. Well, you have a great rest of your evening. And I will talk to you next week, Friday at 5 Pacific. Have a great night, everyone.